Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you a great free program with that you can stitch photos together called Image Composite Editor or short Microsoft Ice. You can find the program for free online. Just google Microsoft Ice and you'll find it. Now unfortunately this is only available for PC so I'm sorry for all you Mac users but yeah let's get started. So when you've downloaded the program and you open it you're gonna see this interface right here and there are three options to choose from there's open where you can open an existing panorama if you already have made one and saved it video panorama where you can stitch together 360 degree video and the thing that we're gonna be concentrating on today new panorama from images so let's get started when I click this it's gonna open the files right now I've already prepared five images to stitch together so let's choose all of them and open you can use everything from JPEG to TIFF the only thing you can't use is raw images alright so we've imported the images that you can see right here now there are two options that we can choose from right now there is simple panorama and their structure panorama. Now structure panorama is where you can align all of your images exactly how you want them. You can change all the settings how much vertical overlap you want but unless you have a panorama with over 50 or 100 files it's not really necessary so I'm gonna choose here simple panorama and the checked on default one is auto detect which lets the program detect which setting it wants to use to stitch together the panorama if you want to choose them manually you have four different options here planner motion, planner motion with skew planner motion with perspective or rotating motion. Now I would not suggest you to use any of those three up here, rather either the auto detect or the rotating motion. Rotating motion means if you have the camera on the same place but you just move it slightly around, means if you have it on a tripod and you're just moving the tripod head or you're holding it handheld and you just move the camera instead of your body. Now for those particular images I used uh, a rotating motion on a tripod. So I'm gonna select that and hit next. Now it's gonna align and compose the panorama. Alright, so we can see our panorama here. Now depending on which option you've chosen before, you have different settings here. Now this is how you want the projection of the panorama. Now I suggest you just to Try out all the different settings and see what you think works the best for you. I'm gonna do that here. That looks pretty good. Spherical looks pretty good too. That not so much. Don't like that. I think I'm gonna go with spherical here. Now once you've chosen the one you like the best, you can now change the rotation and the distortion of the image here. Now depending on the setting you've chosen on the first part of the stitching process you might not have those distortion sliders up here. But if you have the option you can play around with the settings here. Just drag it up and down and see what you like the best. I like this quite a lot so I'm gonna stick with it. Now we've chosen everything we can do in this step so I'm gonna press next. So now it's projecting the panorama. So you can see here we have the finished uncropped version of the panorama stitched together. Look at this amazing detail. This is just from five raw images. So what you can do here is crop the panorama so you don't have any empty space in the image. You can either do this by hand or just select here auto crop. I really like the auto crop here because it crops the least amount of the image while still not having any empty space in the picture. Alright, so we're done here. We're gonna click next again. And now we're in the export menu. Now here are different options if you've made a video or a photo cinch, but for the image we're gonna choose image here and you can choose in whatever format you want to export the image here. 
Now if you want to do adjustments to the image layer, I highly suggest you to export the image in a TIFF for all the information still remaining. But if you just want to share it or you're happy with the look the panorama has right now, you can just select JPEG image and here you can select quality anywhere from 1 to 100. Personally I want the full 100% quality of the image so I'm gonna select 100 here. By the way you can see how big the image is up here 12,000 by 5,000 pixels which equals to 60 megapixels so a really really big file. Out of just five separate images you could also change that if you just want it for social media and you don't need the full size. But I've checked all the settings I want here so I'm gonna press export to disk. So what it's doing is opening the folder from where you've chosen the original files to make the panorama. So you could change the file name here but personally I like it how it looks so I'm just gonna click save and it's exporting the panorama. Alright so at this point you've already saved the panorama and you could close it. If you have a very big panorama or you maybe wanna change something later you could save the panorama here. Personally I'm not gonna do that here because I'm happy with the way it looks. So I'm going to close the picture here and it's giving you a warning. Do you want to save it? Personally, no, I don't want to save it. All right, so now we're done. I'm going to go back to the folder and you can see it's exported to the folder here. I'm going to open it and you can see an amazing, flawless, incredibly detailed panorama picture. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm going to reply to all of them. Like the video if it helped you. And please subscribe for more photography related videos and guides in the future. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Panorama, 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 panorama.